Hi and welcome to Searles RV Centre How To. Now what we're going to discuss today is troubleshooting 240 volt. From time to time I get customers that call us up and they say, oh Ben, the, 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 the hot water system isn't working or the fridge isn't working or the air conditioner's not working, the van keeps blowing a fuse. Okay, so what we need to do is just take a step back. And as silly as it might sound, we have to go right back to the power point where the van is plugged into. Now, if you're in a caravan park, go and make sure your plug is in and switched on. Make sure the lead is going into the caravan and pushed in correctly. Then we want to come inside. We want to see if something is working inside. So the first thing I suggest is the microwave. So we can see the time, so we know we've got 240 volt power into the van. So if there's an appliance issue or if something keeps shorting out, when you come into the van, more than likely this will be off. Your circuit breakers could be popped so that there's no power. Okay, so we've got the lead in, we've checked the circuit breakers, circuit breakers are on, but still nothing. So it could be a couple of things. It could be that an appliance has failed and that needs to be disconnected. Most commonly, we're either going to look at the hot water system or we're going to look at the air conditioner. It's highly unlikely that a microwave uh, or a, a, an oven element has blown. Sometimes a fridge element, 240, could blow. So what we want to do is we want to go to the we want to go around to the power point. So we want to find where the hot water system 240 volt is plugged into a power point. Not only do we want to switch that power point off, we want to pull the plug out and we want to completely remove it just to make sure there is no earth leakage anywhere. And then what we want to do is we want to go up. So we want to look for the, so where's the fridge here? So we go into the drawer here and we've got the fridge power point. So I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to pull that power lead out. Okay, so we've disconnected our air conditioning. We've disconnected our hot water service and we've disconnected our fridge from 240 volt. Now what we want to do is we want to just go back to the circuit breakers. We want to flick them back on if they were off. We want to go back out to the pole or wherever the, the van is plugged into and make sure that that circuit breaker is live as well. Then come into the van and turn something on. So if it's the hot water system or the fridge, it doesn't matter, just do one at a time. We wanna get the plug, we wanna plug it in and we wanna turn it on. Make sure it works. If it's working, that's fantastic. We know that that isn't the problem. Then what we want to do is we want to remove it and we don't want to go to the next thing. So in this case, we'll come back to the fridge. We'll get the fridge power plug here. We'll plug it in. We'll turn the fridge on. Oh, all of a sudden, we've lost power. So that's going to indicate to us, that's going to indicate that the 240 volt issue is lying with the fridge. In that case, if you're traveling, the best thing to do, pull the fridge 240 out and just run it on gas while you're traveling. What runs a fridge is an element. What runs a hot water system is an element. What runs an air conditioner is an element. That element has blown and causing the van to trip out. So just go right back to the basics, folks. Start where the van is plugged into. Make sure there's power at that point. Make sure your lead's gone through and pushed into the van correctly. Just check to see if something 240 volt is working and then eliminate one by one. I'd start with the hot water system, the fridge and the air conditioning. By that time, nine times out of 10 when anyone calls me with an issue like that, we've solved it. Have a great day and see you on the next video. Girls, I'll be sent up.